dear student assalamu alaikum i hope by the grace of almighty allah all of you are fine dear student i am mohammad shah jahan assistant professor department of accounting milestone college uttara dhaka dear student today we will discuss chapter 10 and chapter 10 is financial statement this is our sixth lecture on this chapter dear student at the end of this lecture you will able to know about the statement of financial position and you can prepare financial position dear student now come to our class the statement of financial position dear student statement of financial position also known as balance sheet present the financial condition of an entity at a given date that means financial position is prepared in a particular period at the end of the particular period and in a specific date it is comprised of three main components in statement of financial statement there are three main component asset liabilities and equity dear student in last class we have discussed about the equity how we can find out the equity so today mainly we'll discuss asset and liabilities dear student statement of financial position helps user of a financial statement to assess the financial soundness of the organization that means it helps to the user of a statement of financial statement about the financial condition financial soundness how the organization is of that organization in a financial statement information are recorded in two stages asset as shown divided into four types in first stage that means in financial statement all asset are shown in first stage and in the in this stage we write fixed asset long term investment current asset and fictitious asset that means you can say there are four types of asset fixed asset long term investment current asset and fictitious asset and liabilities are shown divided into two types in second stage dear student the two types of liabilities are long term liabilities and current or short term liabilities dear student keep it in your mind in financial statement we will write the asset in four steps fixed asset long term investment current asset and fictitious asset on the other hand we will write the liability in two steps long term liabilities and current or short term liabilities let's come to our class dear student statement of financial position this is the format of financial position look at at first we will write fixed asset that means whatever fixed asset this organization have we will write here dear student if the fixed asset are goodwill less written off that means goodwill is an fixed asset and from that goodwill if there is any written off written off means the depreciation of this year if any asset decreases then that is called written off you know that the value of asset will not remain same you can say if you have a car if you buy it by 10 lakh and at the end of the year you may you, you may sell this one 8 lakh what about that 2 lakh that is depreciation that means for using or time passing if the value of asset decreases then that is called depreciation for intangible asset it is called written off that means goodwill patent trademark copyright these are the intangible asset and if there is any written off of that asset then we will subtract it from that asset then furniture office equipment machinery land and building all of these are asset of this organization and from that asset we have to subtract the accumulated depreciation same this one written off and accumulated depreciation synonyms just only for intangible asset what is intangible asset dear student whose asset we cannot see but we can feel that is intangible asset like goodwill 
pattern trademark but furniture it is visible that's why it is tangible asset furniture less accumulated depreciation office equipment less accumulated depreciation machinery less accumulated depreciation land and building less accumulated depreciation if there is any other asset uh, like um, office equipment machineries land and building furniture these are the some example of fixed asset dear student then this way you will write the fixed asset in financial position then in second step we'll write long term investment that means whatever investment the organization have and the value of that investment will be asset of that organization investment investment in saving paper investment is government saving paper these are the long term investment this will shown in these steps the next steps will write the current asset that means current asset of the organization dear student you know current asset is cash in hand cash at bank debtors account receivable dear student one important things debtor and account receivable are same and from that we have to subtract new bad debt that means bad debt of current year which will found in adjustment then reserve for bad debt that means which will come from adjustment these two item will be subtracted from debtor or account receivable and then we will get the net debtors then bill receivable or not receivable also a current asset accrued income that means if any income is due if any income is receivable that means like you have a uh, building and you get rent from that building taka 5 lakh but this year you receive only 4 lakh and 1 lakh you will receive in next year so that 1 lakh is accrued income that is also an asset of the organization then unused stationary that means stationary you have purchased and some stationary yet left we can use it next year then it is also a current asset expenses made in advance any other expenses if you made in advance like if you pay salary to the worker for next year in advance then it is also an asset and closing stock and closing stock dear student these are the some example of current asset in practical life you will get there are more other current asset the main characteristics of current asset is this type of asset are changeable within short time but dear student if it is fixed asset look at it is land and building machinery it never change within the short term dear student now last type of asset we can say other asset or fictitious asset actually this is not asset this is an expenditure for short time we are showing it in the asset side like deferred advertisement preliminary expenses business transferring cost these are the mainly expenditure but we show it here because day by day year to year we will write up this value then it will subtract it from asset so dear student total asset now we will find the total asset at first we will write current asset then investment then fixed asset then other asset this four type of asset will be added we will write here it is total of asset it is total of asset dear student now liabilities and owner security dear student last class we have discussed owner security we will write the owner security at first then we will write the current liability that means sunday debtors sunday creditors accounts payable bills payable notes payable outstanding expenses that means if any expenses is due then advance income then bank overdub these are the some example of current liabilities that means we have to pay these liabilities within the short time then long term liabilities bank liabilities mortgage loan bonds payable that means this type of liability we have to pay after a long time like 5 years 10 years 20 years that's why it is long term liabilities dear student so owner security and liabilities will be equals to total of asset that means it is called financial position in an organization whatever we have total asset that will be equals to owner security and liability i hope you understand inshallah next class we will discuss in details now homework dear student this is a tile balance and some adjustment is given here and you will prepare financial statement from this information thank you very much May Allah help all of us. Dear student, stay home, stay safe.